Hey guys, so I'm finally jumping onto the seamstress tag bandwagon and um, Aaron from Style So Me tagged me a few months ago and I'm going to be answering 12 questions called the seamstress tag and um, I hope that you will get to know me better and I hope to hear from you so I hope that I'll get to know you better as well. Question number one is um, who are you? So <laughs> It's kind of awkward answering questions about yourself. Um, anyways, who am I? Um, my name is Vasla. I am a certified fashion designer and pattern maker. I also am the author of a blog called Fashion Behind the Seams. And um, I have worked as a fashion design instructor as well as a freelance pattern maker for a startup company. Okay, so question number two is when and why did you start sewing? So why? like? why not <laughs> right so the why is because for the longest time i can remember i wanted to create something and i found the sewing machine so fascinating even at the age of four i just remember like i remember sitting with that machine for hours and just like stitching stuff you know even before i technically knew how to sew um so the age was four and why is because i just I was just fascinated and drawn towards the sewing machine and honestly to date I feel like it's one of the most amazing inventions and I know that electricity is probably more amazing and you know the antibiotic is more amazing but to me I feel like the most amazing invention in my life is a sewing machine <laughs> so okay so question number three what is your favorite and proudest make so I would have to say that um, my favorite and proudest make is a cocktail dress that I made in fashion school as part of my final collection. This is the time I was getting ready to graduate from school and I wanted to push myself a little bit more and you know get some more sewing skills under my belt. So I chose a project that I knew would be a little bit more challenging than what I'd made you know in the last couple years before that. So this dress uh, was super fitted and I had to learn how to insert what's called a corselet inside the bodice. It's basically like this floating foundation that sits between the outer uh, layer of the garment and the lining. So this garment ended up having five layers and so I also worked with overlaying lace which is something I'd never done before. So uh, that would probably have to be my uh, proudest and most favorite make till date. Okay so moving on to question number four. What is your most <laughs> disastrous make? So in my case it wasn't really anything difficult. It was actually um, a version of McCall's M6886. So if you sew, you know what that is. It's a very simple basic knit pattern. And it was just a matter of one of those days where nothing would go right. And my machine needles were breaking and I was using my serger to stitch the dress and I had white thread and I had a gray fabric. And I couldn't get the machine right. And you know, when I looked at my side seams, it just looked like there were like teeth coming out of my <laughs> stitches. It was just, it was just ugly. That was definitely one of my most disastrous makes and I don't miss it. Okay, so question number five, uh, where's your favorite place to go fabric shopping? So I don't do a lot of uh, in-person fabric shopping. Um, I do a lot of it online. Uh, but if I had to go somewhere in the city I live in, um, I would say Joanne's Fabrics because that's really the only place I can go and touch and feel fabric that is, you know, no more than 20 minutes away. So Joanne's Fabrics, even though that's not very glamorous, but it is what it is. Okay. Okay, so question number six. What is your most used pattern? Um, that will have to be a tie between my um, homemade patterns, um, in particular my bodice sloper, because I do a lot of drafting for, from that. And then um, also, I would say um, I use McCall's M6886 a lot, just like a lot of people, because it's so easy. And for me, um, I don't have to do any alterations on that one for knits, so it's just easy. So that would be the second one. Um, question number seven, <laughs> your most dreaded sewing task. I mean, seam ripping. I mean, I, I would assume that's everybody's, but um, yeah, I do not like to seam rip, just like majority of the people out there. Okay, so um, question number eight is, what is your favorite sewing task? Um, for me, that is pressing. Um, I get this therapeutic kind of uh, experience from pressing seams. I know it's kind of geeky maybe, but um, especially when it comes to molding the fabric and turning it from two-dimensional to three-dimensional, for example, pressing a dart or pressing a princess seam. So yeah, pressing is my favorite sewing task. Um, question number nine, what is your favorite sewing entertainment? So 
I uh, don't really watch TV shows. Um, I tend to watch stuff on YouTube and I often watch um, suspense shows like crime shows, um, Dateline, stuff like that. So yeah, that would be my main sewing entertainment. So yeah. Okay, so question number 10, uh, printed or PDF? Uh, definitely printed, um, even though I do a lot of my own pattern drafting. Um, if I had to choose between printed and PDF, I would say printed because PDF just gives you the extra steps of having to print something and tape it together and uh, it seems it seems really time consuming. So um, question number 11, uh, what, what sewing machine do you use? So I have a few sewing machines. Um, I'll tell you about the two main ones. Um, my current sewing machine, her name is Libby. She is a Lieberman um, industrial machine. Works like a beast. Um, I purchased her in February of last year and I've just completely fallen in love. Uh, it's like a, her and I have like a everlasting love affair, so I don't see myself switching anytime soon. Um, and then for domestic machines, um, I have a brother CP7500, which is, I believe, discontinued now, but they have something very similar on the market, and that's a really good, it's a really good machine, actually, for the price. Okay, so, um, do you have any other hobbies? Um, I'm a little bit into gardening. Um, for the last few years, since we moved into our uh, current home, um, we have, I have been uh, doing a little bit of gardening. Um, I did find it a little overwhelming because I'd get carried away and buy way too many plants and then I would find it overwhelming to put them in the ground. And prior to that, I am a self-proclaimed serial plant killer, so I'm, I would say it's a hobby, but it's not a mainstream hobby, like nothing like sewing. So that is all I have for the seamstress tag. And I hope that you got to know me a little bit better and that you enjoyed watching this. And I hope to hear from you. And my number one question for you is, what is your most dreaded sewing task? So until my next video, I will talk to you later. Bye.